what is up you guys? It is me, Cutesy, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you how you can earn the most souls and candy corn in Overlook Bay's Halloween update. <laughs> I'm also going to be explaining how you can ghost hunt, trick or treat, mine, and do all kinds of tasks, which is going to be awesome. Before we get into today's video, make sure you go check out my Halloween merch that is on sale. My group will be linked in the description and you can go to the store tab to find the Halloween and fall merch. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I want to teach you guys how to do is go ghost hunting. In order to go ghost hunting, you need to pull out your radioactive cannon. For those of you who don't know how to access this, click on the inventory button in the middle of your screen at the bottom. Then click on this little crown thing in between the paw and the pizza, and everybody starts with a radioactive cannon and a pumpkin pal pail for free in Overlook Bay because it is the Halloween event. So here is the cannon. In order to find ghosts, you just got to look around the map. Ghosts can spawn anywhere in the Halloween event, by the wishing well, anywhere, like really. So click on the world logo on the right side of your screen. I know you guys can't see it. Let me move it right here. This logo um, on the right side of your screen, you guys. And then what you need to do is go to the beach, the pet shop, the wishing well, pizza place, or car shop. Or you can just walk around and look for ghosts. So I'm going to go to the beach. Here's what the ghosts look like, you guys. This is super duper cool. Um, we have a green ghost and a purple ghost right in front of me. So what you need to do, if you are playing on PC, walk up to the ghost, click on it, and hold it. Make sure not to let go until the purple bar is all the way filled up and it says plus a certain amount of souls. If you're on mobile, it's pretty much the same thing. Instead of clicking on it, just take your finger, tap on it, and hold down on the ghost. And again, make sure that you're waiting to let go until the purple bar is filled up entirely. Now I want to say I'm making this video because I actually did a live stream um, when the update came out, if you guys want to check that out. Um, and some people asked me to make a video kind of like recapping, and I want to show you guys how you can get this stuff um, and earn currency quicker. All right, so we found another ghost here. Here's how you do it. It's pretty simple. You do not have to use the radioactive cannon. For those of you who would like to purchase a better cannon, you can go ahead and buy one with your souls. If you teleport here to the Halloween event, you'll notice this like tree house up here. This is Ezra's Chambers. So let's go up this ladder and she is actually selling a couple different cannons to collect ghosts with up here. So they are currently selling some cool stuff, which we will talk about later in the video. But for right now, I'm going to show you the other cannons that you can purchase with the souls that you collect from ghost hunting. So you're going to need to talk to Ezra the Evil Witch. Here she is. She is trying to destroy Overlook Bay, you guys. If you buy stuff from her, she's trying to take those souls, make them evil, and then destroy Overlook Bay. So let's talk to her. We don't want her to do that, but at the same time, we kind of want to get some cool cannons. You can purchase a Witch Cannon for 1,000 souls, a Pumpkin Cannon for 2,500, or a Spooky Cannon for 3,500 souls. In Robux, that's pretty good. You guys could probably pay 900 Robux and get a really good thing. So I am really impressed with that. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some other ways that you guys can earn some cool stuff in this event and how you can earn some currency. For those of you who didn't know already, Souls is the currency in Overlook Bay for Halloween only. This currency is going to go away after Halloween, you guys. Um, this is just how you buy Halloween event items. Okay, so do you guys want to know how to trick or treat? I think you do. So what you're going to need to do is go to your house. You can just go to the neighborhood. Um, I like to teleport to my house to make it easier. You guys will notice this little pink monster in front of your house. If you guys want to unlock him, you need to trick or treat and get 1,500 candies. Every time you trick or treat, you can go up to him in front of your house only, only your house, click on him, and feed him your candy. Once you feed him 1,500 candies, you get to keep him. And you also get rewarded. Um, there are some tasks here, and you get the 750 souls for unlocking the Trick or Treat pet. You can unlock him several times. He's really cute, you guys. So to Trick or Treat, once you are in the neighborhood, you have to take out 
a pale. So the Pumpkin Pal Pale is the pale that every single player in Overlook Bay starts with with this event. I just went ahead and bought this Gasper Pale um, because I, I just think it's really cute. It's like a little ghosty. And if you would like to trick or treat, go to any house. It doesn't matter if someone lives here or not, so don't mind that. So if you're on computer, you can press E or click on it. And if you're on mobile, you can just tap on the doorbell. Once it is working, you will hear a doorbell noise and then somebody will answer the door and give you candy. Sometimes you can get souls as well. You can get 25 souls. That is like the best thing that you can get while trick-or-treating. So this is really fun. You guys, I have to be honest. I've become really obsessed with trick-or-treating in this game. It's just so much fun. And I really like doing this with my sister. Her and I were playing last night, just trick-or-treating, going to some houses. Um, obviously, I'm in a private server right now. But in the actual public servers, whoever owns this house is who gives you the candy. So an NPC version of me would be giving you candy if you trick-or-treated at my house. That's really cool. Oh my goodness. So you guys, th that is two different ways you can earn currencies, or I guess that's one way you can earn two currencies. Sorry, I worded that weird. So you can earn candy corn and souls from trick-or-treating, although it's mainly focused on candy corn. And the only thing you can purchase with candy corn as of right now, this is the first part of the event. Remember, there are four parts of the Halloween event. What you can do with your candy corn is feed it to the pet. And if you get two of these pets, you can make a shiny. This is really, really cool. I love making shinies. I only have one right now. I probably should make some more. Here is the one that I have. I think I made this the day shiny pets came out. Um, I don't know what the effect for him is going to be, but I would love to find out. So another way you guys can earn souls in this event is by doing your tasks. So you have your regular daily tasks that give you gems. Gems are the normal currency in Overlook Bay that you can spend on housing, furniture, pets, whatever. But there are some specific Halloween tasks here, so make sure you click on Halloween and it will be highlighted in orange. You have daily tasks that reset every 24 hours, which is super duper cool. So every time that you do something little, the amount you have to do goes up. So that probably sounds weird. If I were to get 10 ghouls, then I would get my reward and then it would give me another daily task to get 25. So you can keep going and going and going. I have not made it past 100 in the past two days I've tried these, but I would love to see what happens when I do. There are also event stuff or event tasks. So these are going on throughout the entire event that is not daily. You have your daily ones and your event ones. These include open all Halloween pets, play the Halloween event for 10 hours, unlock your trick or treat pet, discover all crystals, or complete the Halloween event. Honestly, I have no idea how you can complete the Halloween event. Like, this is so exciting. Remember, there are four parts, so I'm excited to see what the team comes up with um, with the rest of the weeks. The closest event, or the next part of the event, is coming out this Friday, the 16th, you guys. I'm really excited. And a quick reminder, if you want to be there for my live stream, make sure to press that red subscribe button, click the bell, and click all notifications so you can get alerted when I'm going live, uploading, premiering, whatever. Okay, so there is another way that you guys can earn souls. You can simply buy them with Robux. So they have some pretty good deals here. For 100 souls, you can buy that for 50 Robux. So that is about like 50 cents USD, I'd say, maybe a little more. And you can get 100 souls. That's really cool. With 100 souls, that, that could get you something little. I'm sure you could easily just add that on to what you already have. So like if you earned 400 and bought 100, you could get a ghost pail. Um, there's also some other things, but the most expensive amount you can purchase with Robux costs 3,250 Robux, and with that much, you can get 10,000 souls. Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine what I would do with that many souls. I think that I would, like, unbox a ton of pet pods that are the Halloween ones. That would be super fun. You can also purchase some boosts. Um, they have boosts that last 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, and double souls for the entire event. These boosts all give you double souls, but the more Robux you spend, the longer it lasts. So if you wanted to get double souls for just 15 minutes, like if you were like, I'm going to play 15 minutes and I think I would like to earn some more souls quicker, you could pay 70 Robux to earn double for those 15 minutes, and so on and so on. 
The double souls for the entire event lasts this literal entire event, so the next several weeks. Um, and you will get double souls for everything. So that costs 1,999 Robux, which I feel like is a pretty good deal, especially like for YouTubers, because I feel like that would really help them out. Um, so yeah, go check that out, you guys. If you're wondering how you can get to that screen, you will see this little purple thing in the corner of your screen where your souls are located, and then you can click the plus next to it to get there. Okay, I just got a task done. I think it's a daily task though, so I've been playing for an hour. Um, I wonder if this is keeping track correctly, like the Halloween event for 10 hours. I think I've played like five hours so far, which is pretty cool. I, I'm definitely obsessed with this update, you guys. So make sure to leave me a comment down below. Like, what are you gonna do to earn some cool souls and some candy corn? Hey guys, it's actually Future Cutesy here. I was looking back at the footage that I recorded and it turns out I completely forgot that you can go to the Crazed Caverns, so let's talk about that next. In order to get here, you just gotta teleport to the Halloween event as per usual. Walk forward and then you will see this like cave with a pumpkin by it right here and that is called the Crazed Caverns. Basically in here you can go mining and get gems. With these gems you get souls. So in order to mine, what you need to do is click the inventory button at the bottom of your screen. Click on the toolbox in between the car and the box symbol and everybody gets a baby blue pickaxe for free so you guys will have this in your inventory. To mine crystals on computer, just start clicking on them and tapping. The better pickaxe you have, the higher chance you have at getting a better thing. So as you can see, I completely did that crystal and now I can pick this crystal piece out that came out of it. The better pickaxe that you buy gives you better luck. So I have a golden pickaxe and the luck is 1.75 times. The regular pickaxe is just one times. So that's really cool. I'm gonna be using this pickaxe now so I can show you guys like what's going on here. So I'm gonna mine another crystal and then show you guys the values that you can get with these crystals or I guess how much these are all worth. So I got a decent crystal just then, which is super duper awesome, you guys. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna go show you where you can sell these crystals at. You will see this sign right here that says surface, the crystal cavity, and the elevator. Go over here. There actually is a leaderboard right now. So whoever mines the most crystals is number one. You guys, they have weekly, daily, and all time. Oh my gosh, somebody literally mined 2,000 crystals today. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. So if you wanna sell your crystals, go up here and it will say the crystal cavity, there's a little shop. In here you will see Kathy Crystal and the sell prices for your little crystal pieces. A gold nugget or fool's gold is worth three souls, and then you have five souls, eight souls, 12, 15, up to the godly princess gem worth 25 souls. Basically, the better crystal that you get, the more souls you get, and the more XP you get. So if you wanna sell them, talk to Kathy Crystal. On computer, you can just press E or tap on her, and she will talk to you. You can hit sell. And then she will let you know how much your crystals are worth. So select the crystals that you want to sell. I want to sell all of these ones that I have. She will tell you how much it's worth. So I got 113 souls out of those pretty decent gems. That's pretty good, you guys. So another way that you can earn um, souls in this area is just by leveling up. To level up, you also mine the crystals. So if you go over here right across from the shop, you will see this thing that says mining pass. Here it says 250 gems at level five, a bronze ticket at level 10, and so on and so on. I really wanna get to level 40 so I can get 10 extra wishes. Speaking of 10 extra wishes, Overlook Bay actually hit 150,000 likes or thumbs up, thanks to you guys who play it. Because of this, everyone is going to be receiving 10 extra wishes. I assume this will be coming out this Friday, the 16th, with the rest of the update. So I also want to get this pickaxe at level 50 just because of how cute it is. I'm sure it's awesome. And another thing I forgot to mention, the better pickaxe you have, the less amount of hits it takes to break a crystal, which is really cool. I've already received 250 gems, one bronze ticket, and 500 gems. So 750 gems and a bronze ticket so far. And I've been playing this game for like a day and a half with the Halloween event, so that's really cool. These are some great things, you guys. Um, this actually doesn't earn you souls, but um, it still earns you stuff, and you earn souls from breaking the crystals, obviously, so, so that's really cool. 
Um, anyways, you guys, thank you so much. Uh, let's go back. Um, uh, I want to talk about the things that you can purchase with the souls and candy corn. Obviously, right now, the only thing you can do with candy corn is the get the pet. Sorry. Um, but if you don't want to buy anything from the evil witch Ezra, you can go ahead and donate your souls to Giselle, the good witch. She said, I'm so thankful you're here. I need your help. My evil sister is trying to destroy Overlook Bay. I need your help to stop her. And I will say, tell me more. She is just basically explaining to us that she's trying to turn souls and make them evil to destroy the beautiful city of Overlook Bay. We don't want that to happen. So if you want to help, what you can do is donate your souls to Giselle. My theory is that she's actually going to end up being evil, but that's probably incorrect knowing myself. Basically, this thing here, they lowered the, the price, I guess. Um, I was so incorrect during my original stream. Basically, every single person who donates helps out everybody else who plays Overlook Bay. So if, as an entire community, we get 25 million um, souls donated, then everybody will get a witch's wand, which is super duper cool, you guys. So if you want to do your part, make sure you donate some souls. Um, I, I, don't, I might donate some souls because I have a lot. I guess I'll see where I'm at at the end of the event because this is so much fun. I really want to try to get the witch's broom. You guys, if we get 50 million souls donated to Giselle, we get witch's brooms. And then if we get 100 million souls donated to Giselle, we get to keep the pet pods in the game for two extra weeks. That will be so useful. So if you want any of this, make sure you come up to Giselle and donate your souls. For those of you wondering how to get here, just click the Halloween event button on the left side of your screen, and then you will see her right here to the left. I hope you guys are able to find her. Now, I want to show you guys some secrets that I found in my latest stream because, ooh, these are some cool secrets, you guys. So, I'm over here in Ezra's castle, and you guys know that you can purchase pet pods with your souls. It costs 500 souls to buy one Halloween ticket. Remember, these pets are limited, so make sure you stock up on them. The Hex Cat costs 3,500 souls flat out, which is really cool. So if you want to specifically buy that one, you can. The pet pods are completely random, though. But you guys want to know a secret. When you go behind here, so there's like the pet pod thing, you can sneak behind this tree, and we can see that the Dark Magic Shadow Corn Legendary is 5,000, and the Hallow's Eve Shadow Corn Godly is 7,500. Those aren't out yet, but we got a sneak peek. There are 16 pets currently out in the Halloween event, you guys. How many do you have so far? Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If there's anything else you would like to know, please feel free to leave me a comment. If this video was useful to you, make sure to press that like button, smash it in the face. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing and spooktacular day. Bye, guys!